<clears throat> Hi you guys. So today I'm doing a chicken on the rotisserie. So I thought I would show you the whole kit and caboodle. <laughs> I was trying to work. <laughs> watch my words. So first I cover the rotisserie in foil. Just a habit from my mother. And it's pretty much a lifesaver on the cleaning of the rotisserie. I've had this for at least 25 years. My mom had one when I was growing up. I would kill to have the motor to hers. It's a beast. I just ordered a new one for mine because mine's a little slow. And I'm wondering, because I saw one of the motors like hers, I'm wondering if I can get that and it will work. So that is that part. I'm careful right here is where the, I don't know if you can see my fingers there, that is where the heating element goes. So be very careful with the foil around that hole. Let's see, right. can you see right there? Okay, oh I should have opened my, uh, had my chicken ready. Okay, trying to make it to where you guys can totally see what's happening here. So then we put these in and this holds the uh, bar that holds the, what will be chicken tonight. And they go right in there. I don't really know if anybody has these things. I've seen them on uh, Amazon for three over three and four hundred dollars. Okay, this right here is what's going to hold up the heating element, and I just go through. See right there. I just go right through those put that this is our drip tray and I never wrap it it's been relatively easy to wash Put the heating element into that hole I showed you and you're good to go on that. I never put the uh, grilling rack in here for rotisserie. I've never grilled on it either. I use my other stuff. So now we take our rod and this is the rod. I don't hard to get the whole thing in there. Make sure your handle is screwed on. And then we'll take our first poker holder doohickey. And that goes on the rod. And you want to go to where you think the chicken will be in the center of this. You can always adjust it. So there's a screw. And you tighten that so we got that put that there I cooked a prime rib on that for Christmas okay now I'm going to unwrap my chicken first let's I'm gonna make a, a butter mixture So I 
have some softened butter. I'm going to mix it with some rosemary and garlic. and I like a lot of garlic and then I'm going to take some dried rosemary and smush it in my hand try not to have you know Stuff reminds me of a Christmas tree. Break those down as best you can. So, get the rosemary in there. butter and some pepper and we will mix this up and this is going to go under the skin of the chicken get that meat nice and flavored and then we'll be putting butter on the outside of the chicken and seasoning it with an all-purpose seasoning salt and there we go you can do your herbs as potent as you like take over the flavor of the dish though. So we have our flavored butter and you do not have to do this either. You can just season the outside of the chicken. I do that a lot as well. So I got rosemary everywhere. Okay, let me see if I can get this out of the way. I'm going to open up my chicken. you don't have kitchen scissors, I highly recommend having kitchen scissors. Ooh. And this is an organic chicken. Let me discard of it when I get a chicken where I still see some feathers. Okay, so what you want to do is stick your finger under that skin and open you up a pocket to put 
put that seasoned butter. You want to get that leg as well. And try not to poke a hole in your skin. I guess I could have put gloves on this so I'm not grossing you guys out. Okay. And just, you can insert your spoon in there and just push that butter down into that breast meat. your leg over to our other leg and we will flip it over A little harder to do the back. That'll get your thigh meat. Oops, sorry. Ah. Okay. And we will put the rest of this inside the cavity. Which has some ice in it. Probably should have rinsed that first. Get that ice out of there. I'll just scoop it out. What else can you do? Whew, cold. Yeah, definitely don't do what I did. Rinse that out. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands. Oh wait, I got a little more butter here. Okay. I think I'll put some gloves on this time to put this on the rod. This isn't as laborious as it appears when you get the hang of using the rotisserie. Different when you're doing
doing a, a video. Okay. Maybe I just thought I was going to put gloves on. <laughs> it's hard to do when your hands are a little bit wet. Shoving you around. Okay, make sure your hands are dry when you try to put on gloves. I love having a rotisserie of my own. I know you can buy a rotisserie chicken, but we don't know what people are doing to our stuff anymore. Okay, so now, see if I can do this like my mother who never needed string. So we are going to put our wings underneath. And the trick to this is getting these wings into, uh oh can't see a thing. Okay. Good thing I put those paper towels down. You okay, want to get these wings into the doohickey there. And push that chicken down. Okay. Can you guys see? Okay, now, I've never done it this way before, so. <laughs> Trying to do it so you can see. And you're gonna wanna do the same thing with these legs. these wet leg legs into the uh, okay. I need to lay it down. That's how I'm used to doing it. Okay. So you want to get them secure. And if you have trouble getting them in there, call your hubby. Everything seems so slippery right now. I think I'm in the backbone, which is making it hard. Oh, I need to tighten this one up.
camera shut off on me. I'm sorry. And you probably don't see a thing that I'm doing. So see I have the legs in here. And if you'd prefer you can tie the chicken. Okay. So let me clean this up. Beachy soap water. We don't want to be spreading any salmonella. Took off my gloves. Okay. So now, now we are going to put it as close to the. Uh, what you call it, a heating element without touching it as it turns. Okay, I'm hoping my wings don't flop out So now, I wonder if the cord's long enough for it to go in that direction. This is your molder, and there's the hole that it'll fit into. this this right here will go into one of these well, I'm batting a thousand today here we go turn this on to see if I've got my clearance Ideally, I would try to recenter this. I really should, but I'm, I don't want to muck it up. So yeah. Let's see if I can go down. Might be able to go down one more notch. Not clear. There we go. Okay, now we are going to plug in the heating element. You want to plug that in before you plug it into the wall. Otherwise, you're going to burn your hands. Do not plug it in until you do that. Okay. Ideally, you'd want to move that a little. I'm not going to. It's getting heat all the way around, so... You really want to make sure, too, that you know, all parts are getting heat from your heating element. So as long as my wings don't fall out, 
We are good on clearance. If you notice it's getting a little dark, unplug the heating element and raise it up. That's all you got to do. I mean, once you get a rotisserie, you'll learn what works for you and your unit. going to put some butter in that bowl that I mixed my garlic butter in. I'm going to use a brush and just paint the chicken with butter. Or you can use whatever oil you like. And that heat helps you spread it. It's coming up already. I mean, it gets hot instantly. And all your drippings will catch in that pan I showed you down at the bottom. Put those wings. You will feel the heat. I use the same bowl because I don't want to contaminate everything in the house with chicken. So there we go. Now And you can keep whatever little bit you have if you think you might need to baste it later. I've never had to do that. This is self-feasting. This is like your crock pot. You set it and forget it. Now while it's turning, I'm going to season the outside of it really well. People used to call my mom's rotisserie chicken orange chicken and they didn't mean Asian. And you can use any seasonings on the outside that you like. You can use lemon pepper, garlic, a rub, anything you like. You can switch it up every time you do something on here. It's like grilling. It's whatever changes you want to make in your next recipe. And there we have it. Add some pepper. And let her rip. I really wish I had a, a good pepper grinder. I've bought so many, I give up. Okay, so there's our chicken. This will cook for about an hour, and you'll want to check it. I've never had one take longer than an hour and a half. It just depends on your chicken. And like I said, you don't have to go through what I did to put that on there. You can tie your chicken up. And, uh, yeah. I will show this to you guys as we progress and when we eat. So I'll see you in a while. 
So this is what we're looking at at about mm, 45 minutes. The house smells yummy. Look at that golden brown mist. I used to get in trouble when my mom would do a prime rib because I would pick all the crunchy <laughs> bits off of it. So yeah, look, you get a nice golden brown. A wing did pop out, but fortunately it's just staying there, not hanging down, touching the burner, so we're all good there. So yeah, it can be done without tying, which is cool. Legs are still in there tucked in. So we will come back when it is finished. And we take it off. Oh boy, that's always the fun part. Okay, you guys. So now we are going to take this off of the rotisserie. So unplug in everything. Over here, I made gravy with the drippings from down there. Just added some flour to it and some chicken stock. Okay, everything's going to be hot, so I'm going to remove the motor, use a pot holder because it is hot. Get that off of there. Now, I'm going to put our chicken on this platter. with a paper towel just because it's easier or you can use your grilling gloves. My husband told me that when the wing fell out. Well, if you can get it back in there, you can use those gloves. But it did all right. Okay, I'm going to unscrew the other maybe maybe if I used my right hand this one out and if you put these in water as soon as they come off they're much easier to clean so I'm going to do that okay and now can you guys see Just pull this out, and this is what I was unscrewing. Here's right here. Take that off and put it in the water. And there we have it. There is our chicken. I'm going to let it rest for a few minutes, and then I'm going to plate it up. I made mashed potatoes, gravy and corn. You want to kick it up a notch, make you some stuffing, some cranberry. I have some cranberry sauce in there. And just make you a little chicken rotisserie Thanksgiving kind of dinner. So I'll be back when we get this plated up and it's rested for a few minutes. Alrighty guys, we're going to plate this up so I can serve my hubby so patiently for his dinner tonight which is late I think just because I was discombobulated from doing a my first rotisserie video 
it's really easy I just made it look a little goofy because I've not done it on camera So, I have some homemade cranberry sauce. After I said that, I was like, I want it. So, I have homemade cranberry sauce. I had some stuffing I had made in the freezer. So, that is warmed up. Mashed potatoes and gravy. And I'm keeping my potatoes hot by putting them over the pot with the gravy. And it's on low. So yeah, I will be quiet now. And carve this chicken. Look at how juicy that is. Holy cow. My favorite is the leg. And the nice thing about the chicken on the rotisserie over roasting is you really get the back of that chicken nice and brown. So it's a golden and juicy all the way around. So I'm slicing it that way first. So when I slice it this way, I actually have slices. And look, you can see the juices in that. This is not a dry chicken. He likes the wings. Let me get him a wing. Trying to do this with the camera in my face. It's kind of hard. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So uncalled for. Yeah, that's a bunch of dogs going out at the same time for... I bet there's no reason. My potatoes off. Turn that off. Okay. I'm still here. Butter that corn. you guys there is guess I just made it blurry but here is our chicken rotisserie dinner so if you have any questions, post them down below. Forgive my awkwardness in front of the camera with the rotisserie. I'll get better. And yeah, really easy, really yummy. And it makes your house smell ever so good. So if you haven't subscribed, think about doing so. We'll try a lot of new things here. 
this coming year and uh, if you like the video <laughs> in, in its chaotic state a thumbs up always helps and I will see you guys next time if you haven't subscribed think about doing so got a lot coming up and uh, I will see you in the next video bye bye